tremolo series. In this series, we're going to share with you tremolo pedals by some of our favorite manufacturers. Thanks for joining us. Before I tell you why, I'm going to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, which is a red button, by the way, and hitting the notification bell so you know what we're up to. Your interaction with us helps us engage new companies, which is why we're wearing red shirts today. Not It's not Christmas. <laughs> right. It's... right. So today we're looking at Monster Effects. The tremolo is called the Swamp Thing. I think it's called the Thang. The Swamp Thang. <laughs> yeah. Th this is a tremble we've been looking for and looking for since we started yeah. the series. When we started the series, it was like only available on the used market, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and they're rather expensive because they're pretty sought after. You know, they're emulating a brown face um, Princeton Tweed amp, and they do a really, really, really good job of that. So what we found out recently, and we must have missed it somewhere along the line, but Scott Hagar, who was a longtime dealer of Monster Effects pedals, actually took that over in 2019, started hand building them again. Um, it says tested by ears, not by machines, machines or something like that. His company, Ask and You Shall Receive, Ask and You Shall Receive. I've seen this mm -hmm. On reverb, I've been looking at pedals on their pages and stuff, so it was kind of cool. We reached out to him and you, um, you asked him, I asked him, <laughs> and he was kind enough to help us out to get, get this in a little bit. Um, and so we're excited to have it on and excited again to form that relationship. It, like, go look at his webpage, man. They, they sell all kinds of brands, mm -hmm. and uh, you want to get me to wear a shirt. Make it look Canadian, and <laughs> I'm, I'm there. So, yeah, so they're in Canada, and we're just really excited to be working with them on this. So, the Swamp Thang. Yeah, you heard it in the beginning, in the bumper. Mm -hmm. Sounds really good. I mean, this is going to be a deep dive. There's two knobs. <laughs> so we can still make it 25 minutes, don't you worry. <laughs> right. That's, I mean, but that's like kind of the beauty with some of these, like, We've said this so many times. We like pedals with lots of features. Right. But we also really like pedals that just sound good with very little features. Mm -hmm. So the Swamp Thing is really good at what it does. So let's get into what it does. So the Revolta Mondata 8, Tyler JT22, two knobs like you said, both set at noon. We'll give you the reference tone. Again, I like to joke all three pickups because I can. And as usual, the carbon copy for a little sweetener. All right. It's a crutch. Just want to play it a little bit? Yeah, sure. speed knob um i guess we'll take it all the way down and we'll take it all the way up imagine that so <laughs> speed all the way down Sounds good. 
Yeah, and it never gets... It never hits that unusable territory. Yeah, no need for Dramamine with this pedal. Right, so it's not like so slow that it just doesn't go anywhere, or it's not so fast it's like, you know, mm-hmm. the hummingbird yeah, or the... Right, right. Or the helicopter, whatever mm-hmm. we used to call it. Mm-hmm. So, just just nice amp like usable speed the whole way through. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about depth. Yeah, and why it's said about where it is. <laughs> right. So, I think we're gonna start with it right there and run it to the top, and then stop, and then we'll talk about the box. All right. So it never gets to the choppa, right? It never gets to that really choppy, super square wave, hard mm-hmm. thing. It just, it, I like this. So like, hey, let's build a pedal that sounds like a brown face, Princeton, or deluxe, mm-hmm. bias tremolo pedal. And let's have it just do that one thing really, really well. Right. So that's what they did. Um, the reason that, The reason I said about Starting there and going up, we have found that if you go below there, you're not really hearing a lot of tremolo. Right. So I think what I want to do is I'll turn it back on, let you play, and I'll roll it down, and then kind of roll it back up to we kind of hear where it is. Mm-hmm. But I think you're not going to hear a whole lot of difference. But we're going to talk about what you. Well, we're going to talk more about it in a second. Right. <laughs> between like 11 and 12 it starts to yeah come in let's try this once um i'm gonna turn it off play and like maybe play two chords and let them ring a little bit okay then i'll turn it on Uh and we'll do that a couple times just to hear the difference between the pedal but i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna bump it down to like 10 o'clock where we don't think you're hearing that tremolo okay Yeah, we felt like it was like an EQ change. Maybe a little more bottom, a little rounder. With, the with, warmth? Yeah, yeah. For sure. So it's almost like a... It reminds me of like maybe a preamp kind of thing mm-hmm. or, you know, some... I don't know. There's been a few pedals. Caesar DS, Trimadilla, mm-hmm. the Hampstead, mm-hmm. you know, that have... CLS maybe, that have that... When you turn them on, have that kind of the added warmth to yeah, it. You can't forget Uncle Bryce's flip. 
Oh, yeah, the flip. Right. So there's a few that we've done. Mm-hmm. And I know there's people out there that are like, I want a pedal that doesn't color my tone at all, which is great, you know. But these have, right. like, this warmth mm-hmm. that they bring into it that, that we really like. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's Truth nice. Time might have been like that, too. I uh, probably right. Yeah. So, I think that covers... Yeah, I mean, I think the unique thing that we noticed is that the depth had to be up to 11 or 12 before you really got the effect. But as we just said, you get the benefit of some type of EQ palette being engaged. And so yeah. there, there is, and one, I guess, last thing. There's, in a bias tremolo, a lot of times, like, like if you get one of those old brown face amps, and I'm saying this like I know and have played right. one, right. which I haven't. Right. But what I, from what I understand, and then from another bias tremolo that we had that did this really well, if you hit like a big chord and it's driving the amp, you don't hear the tremolo, and then it sneaks in kind of mm-hmm. under as things are hanging out. Like right. as, so it hits the tubes really hard, covers up the tremolo, and as that the gain dies down, I guess the mm-hmm. tremolo starts to sneak in. And we were wondering if maybe there was some of that going on. I'm not sure. We do feel like maybe we should do that because didn't we feel like if we pump the depth up a little bit, cut the speed up, and you kind of really hit a chord and let it ring that you would hear a little bit of that? Yeah, you kind of hear that drive in the beginning. And um, then as you... Let it ring it. I feel like the pulse. Yeah, the pulse doesn't fade. the The little bit of the drive fades way before the pulse does. It's almost like I wonder if you're playing like a like an A chord and you're doing this like don't do don't do don't, and then you let it ring. If you would, if it would cover it up while you're. There was. I found myself trying to play to the time yeah. of the uh, speed. We might be pushing. We might be reaching. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got to the point where we break through a chord with it off, and we're like, is the tremolo on in the Tyler? I think our ears were just like ready for some pulsing. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's really nice. It's yeah. very warm. It's simple. So the only thing we haven't done, maybe hit it with some drive, but we can do that right, right. after we wrap this up. So yeah. let's, let's wrap it up. Um, anything to add? Um, thanks for the shirt, Scott. <laughs> yeah. I do love it. Uh, the Tremolo series is the one that I wanted to do, and that one is a winner for sure. So with that, um, always do take a moment just to stop and say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, hitting the uh, notification bell, that kind of stuff. Anytime you interact with the show, it helps us out. It's what helps us grow the channel enough that we can reach out to people and are willing to work with us so we can hopefully bring cool content to you. Uh, and we appreciate that because we're doing it for fun and you know, that helps. So stop by the website and um, check out the rest of the Tremolo series. And I think with that, I'm PJ on behalf of the beard reminding no matter what you hear, you never have too much gear. David Barber. He's always got to come to the party.
shipped him a chopper. We really shouldn't do that to David Barber if we say we're using one of his pedals. 